ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد Whenever a word escapes, there is a watcher ready by him. In this verse of the Quran Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us that every utterance, every sentence, every word that a person utters is recorded in his book of deeds. According to some of the commentators of the Quran Kareem, this refers to only those words that will benefit a person or harm a person in terms of the hereafter. As far as those words that are neither harmful nor beneficial, those words will not be recorded. However, commentators such as Hafiz ibn Kathir rahimahullah have mentioned that every word and every utterance that is uttered by a person is recorded in his book of deeds and this is the more apparent meaning of the verse because it is mentioned in a general context. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another place of the Quran Kareem, وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِظِينَ كِرَامًا كَاتِبِينَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed for every one of us an angel that is responsible to write our actions good or bad. So the ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have highlighted that a person should only speak when he knows what he is speaking is good. مَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ لِيَصْمُدْ Let he who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter speak that what is good only. Otherwise, he should keep quiet. Meaning that before a person speaks, he should think very well. What I am going to say or what I am about to say, is it beneficial for me? in terms of this world, in terms of the hereafter, is it going to harm me or is it going to be harmful for me in terms of this world or in terms of the hereafter? If it is good, if it is beneficial, well and good, a person can say it. But if it is not going to be beneficial for a person in this world nor in the hereafter, then it is better that a person does away with it and remain silent. Rasulullah also mentioned, Man samata naja, he who keeps silent, he who stays silent has found salvation. Meaning he will find salvation from various calamities. Many a time a person falls into a tragedy, a person falls into breaking ties of kinship, etc. Jealousy, malice, evil, thoughts about others, etc. because of this very tongue. On one occasion a certain sahabi, Sayyiduna Uqba, Ibn Amir radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man naja? What is salvation? What is success? Where can I find success? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Amlik alayka lisanak Restrain your tongue and prevent it from evil talk. Hence, we learn from these ahadith that a person should only say that what is beneficial for a person. So, Sometimes a person begins to beg bite or say something evil about somebody without any proof, etc. That is harmful for a person. It is evil talk. A person rather spend this time in reciting the Quran Kareem, in making the dhikr and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we look into the life of a believer, we are taught to think good and speak good about others rather than think evil and say evil about others. So when a, person, when a person thinks good, he has good thoughts about others, he will not be questioned nor will he talk about uh, bad things. He will rather be saying good things about others. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't take a person to task for speaking good about somebody or thinking good about somebody. However, if a person thinks evil and says something evil about somebody, he will be questioned and he will be asked to bring proof about it on the day of Qiyamah. On one occasion, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was advising the Sahaba radiallahu anhum in regard to a certain matter. And in the end, he told the Sahaba radiallahu anhum that they must ensure to restrain their tongue from any kind of evil in terms of their words. Because if a person does not watch his words, they then become his actions. And this leads to all kinds of disobedience and sinning. 
So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was then asked uh, by the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum that will we be taken into task for our tongues like what we utter are we going to be taken to task for that. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum that وَهَلْ يَكُبُّ النَّاسِ فِي النَّارِ عَلَى وُجُوهِهِمْ أَوْ قَالْ عَلَى مَنَاخِرِهِمْ إِلَّا حَصَائِدُ أَلْسِنَتِهِمْ O oh my Sahaba, O oh my companions, and specifically in one narration, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was referring to Sayyiduna Mu'adh bin Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala an as he was the one who posed this question that are we going to uh, be taken into task for what we have been saying. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, are the people that will be tossed into the fire of Jahannam upon their faces or the noses going to be tossed except because of what their tongues had done, meaning what they had uttered. They were uttering utterances that were incorrect. They were saying something that was not the correct thing. They were saying something that was harmful. They were swearing or slandering or backbiting, etc. So all of these aspects, all of these things in regard to our tongues, we should ensure that what we speak is only that what is good for us either in this world or the hereafter. And stay away from that which is evil and bad. I end with one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He mentions that sometimes a person says something which he is not really bothered and worried about. He's not concerned about. He just said it and without much attention and thought put into what he had uttered. He just said something. And because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him entry into paradise. And sometimes a person in the same manner, without putting much thought, without much consideration, without uh, thinking properly of what he had uttered or remembering what he had uttered, he said something out of negligence. And because of that, he may be flung into the fire of Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who only speak that what is good for us in this world in our qabr, in the hereafter, and make us amongst those that are successful. Remember, to be silent is better than to utter something that is evil, and then be asked about it on the day of Qiyamah.